with Bitdefender end of life their free antivirus and rising concerns over using Russian owned products and services. Today we are looking at what is the best free antivirus software for your PC in 2022 that doesn't slow your PC to a halt. We're going to look at my top five picks for antivirus as well as look at the pros and cons of using each of them. And once you've sorted yourself out with some free antivirus then I'd also recommend signing up for Synology's C2 password manager which is also totally free and I'll link that down below along with everything else I'm talking about in this video. So let's get the ball rolling in at number five with, well, actually, it's Bitdefender. Yes, after pulling their free antivirus at the end of last year, this year, in some bizarre move, they re-released their free antivirus under the new name of Bitdefender Antivirus Free for Windows, which they say has been rewritten from the ground up to be a much slicker experience than that old version. Now, the old version of Bitdefender already was one of the top players in online independent tests, and this version is so new that it's yet to be tested, but it's using the same engine as those higher scoring reviews, along with a shiny new clients, which gives it an overall faster experience along with that basic level of protection. The company itself is based in Romania with offices worldwide. And overall, the new Bitdefender free product seems like a good no frills option when looking for a free antivirus solution. But if you want some additional protection, then you may want to consider an alternative. Next, we have AVG Antivirus, which has been around for decades with its version of a no frills antivirus, which offers a few additional features. That includes protection against malware, but also blocking malicious links and attachments within your email, all without dramatically impacting the speed of other applications. Using the independent tests provided by avtest.org, we can see that AVG has extremely good levels of protection without slowing down machines and all with a pretty clean and usable interface. You do get computer, web and email protection included, but there are some additional features you can unlock if you upgrade. Now, AVG was originally an American company, but a few years ago was bought by Avast, who are based in the Czech Republic. But more recently, and right now actually, is moments away from being acquired by Norton, who is again a US owned company. Before the next one, I'm doing a giveaway for this 256 gig iPhone 13 Pro. And all you need to do to enter this worldwide giveaway is let me know down in the comments below, what tech are you looking forward to buying this year? Now anybody can enter and I will post a video on this channel to announce the winner of this iPhone 13 Pro when the channel hits 50,000 subscribers. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Now in at number three is Avira free antivirus. Similarly, topping the AV test scores for protection, speed and usability. Avira is a German made antivirus product which provides a lightweight, good looking client with no bloatware or unnecessary features. Avira can also prevent unwanted apps from making their way onto your machine as well as blocking dodgy websites, ads and tracking from your browser. They do also bundle in price comparison features which I'm not really a huge fan of but rating this on just the antivirus component is a great choice. Next up we have Avast One. Even though Avast own AVG they still have their own branded free offering called Avast One Essential, providing antivirus, a firewall, an included VPN with up to five gig per week, password compliance, data breach monitoring, and additional privacy controls. So Avast One Essential is one that has a few more features than the others we've reviewed today, which also scored very highly on the AV test for protection, speed, and usability. Avast also has a brighter interface, which I find easier to navigate and use, and for most people, gives you everything you need under a single free product. The only thing to watch out for is that when you install Avast One, you'll be asked to install their browser, but if you don't want that, you can just decline it during install. Like mentioned earlier, Avast is currently going through acquisition by Norton, and that's expected to close in the coming weeks or maybe months of this year. Then we have Microsoft Defender, which used to have not the best reputation. But honestly, if you're a savvy user with a fair dose of common sense, then many of you will be just fine running the built-in Windows Defender service that comes as part of Windows, which is great because there's no need to download any additional third-party apps. You get some basic antivirus threat protection and also some of the firewall features, but none of the additional features like VPN, password or data breach monitoring tools. But for most people with a little common sense, can be more than adequate for your needs. Once you've sorted yourself out with some free antivirus, then I'd also recommend checking out Synology's C2 Password Manager, which is also totally free, which you can check out here, or get yourself a good backup solution, which you can see here, and I'll see you in there. Cheers.